You are you. That's who I remember you, I do. I couldn't forget if I tried to remember. Talk about loony. Hold on, Pops. Just wait a bit and we'll have you back to normal. Okay, Milda. This is all we need to get the information from him, right? Of course. Here, all we need to do is put them he uh, here on these bumps and there we go. I kind of want, like, his horns to just relatively, uh, be ridiculously long now. <laughs> Resurrection! Hey, Paps. Are you really, really alright? Master Darling, we have many questions. Look at this. The key to the portal of Angelo. Spoken in the words of yore, one step closer to Mistress Liette. So it's true, this is the key to Alan. Not like we've been told multiple times that it's the key to Alan. Justin, please! No, not to the shrine of Alan. It is for a place you know well, the shrine of Zil Pardon. What is Zil Pardon? A shrine? Yes. According to the words of yore, Alent was the shrine of knowledge, and Zil Bardan the shrine of wisdom. Both floating shrines, and both possessing the key to the other, and trusted to those who were worthy. The three eyes on the shrine door, in the middle of Zil Bardan, judge the worth of the entrant. The Mogwe, the oldest people on the ground, are said to possess the Medal of Knowledge. This is also the key to Alan. Mogwe? Weedle? With the rabbit ears? The Mogwe are a most ancient people, said to have descended with the shrine of Zilpardan in the Age of Angelo. Zilpardan. The Mogwe controlled the shrine of Zilpardan and will open the door only if you prove worthy. Go to Alan. Go first to Zil Peda and obtain the Medal of Knowledge, the key to Alan. Throw it in the Rainbow Spring, and the long closed door to Alan will once again open. When you reach the legendary floating shrine and meet Mistress Liete, burn her image into your mind for me. This is what you need to do. And I will finally, finally, have obtained the image of Mistress Liete with my own hands. Your, your own hands. This guy's dangerous. Okay, so are we gonna go meet Guido? Well, ain't that green, Justin boy? Y'all got one step closer to Alan. That's right. Thanks to you and everyone else, Milda. Justin boy. Afraid this is goodbye. What? But why? I know I'm real beholden to y'all, but I just can't leave my darling. Poor old darling didn't eat a thing while I was away. Now he's skinny as a board. Wait a minute. You call that skinny? I see. Well, that's too bad. I guess it can't be helped. Milda, thanks for everything. Give me back the thing that gives you your SP, please. Please, I kinda need that. Justin boy, y'all might be having a hard time and feel like giving up, but don't, okay? Don't y'all dare give out now. Mina girl, rap boy, you keep a going now, you hear? Milda, you're alright. Milda, give our best to darling. I'll be here in the village, so y'all don't be strangers. Take care, y'all. Make sure you're getting a souvenir from Alan for Darlin. Make him jump for joy. I'm sure it will. All right, time to head for. English, <laughs> tongue tied. But. Okay, so uh. I'm. I'm a little worried.
Oh my god, thank the lord. Okay, so anytime that somebody leaves the party, their items get put into uh, this area. I was kind of hoping that would be the case, and I'm very glad that's the case. Man, we got like a lot of jazz. Did we ever? Oh my god, we leveled up twice. Ah, oh, that's a, that's a gosh darn shame. Oh, which one should we go next, honestly? Like, we got, we got Axe. But if we go and we continue with Axe, it's going to take a long, long time to relatively get anywhere with Axe. And we need a level of Fire, too. As well as Earth. Just going with Sword as it is right now, I don't think it's a relatively good idea. I think we relatively go... Yeah, I think we go Axe. But we'll go with the Warp Staff. And, um... Yeah, we'll leave Wrap to the Swords for now. So... I think now we gotta go to Zillipaden. Let's see. Dorlin said the temple entrance is in the middle of Zil Payton. But there's no temple in the middle of the town. That's a fountain there. I get it. The fountain is the entrance. Whoa, for you. That's pretty good thinking, Jess. Did you just call him stupid? I wonder if you hit it. Let's check it out right away. I don't think hitting it would be a very good idea. I really don't think hitting it would be a really good idea. Hey Jess, both Ladians talked about three eyes. Is that it? Probably? If you fit the metal in there, it'll work. Good. Wait a minute, Justin. We open the door now. The water will flow in. If so, there's only three of us to drink it off. If Jess and I do half each, I don't think you can do half. That's not right. Look, Dar Dorlin didn't say that. We need the cooperation of the Mogwe. I know that, like, you know, that's probably not the correct way to say it, but I'm going to continue saying that one. That's right. He said that if we aren't recognized by the Mogwe, the door won't be opened. The only Mogwe we know is Guido. Oh. Oh, you're really a here. It's... It is a you, isn't it? The adventure with the the spirit stone. Just like a like the elder said, a very cute red-haired one. Elder? Is Greedo an elder? <coughs> <coughs> Voila! My grandmother, she had a bit of that, but she got bushy red hair. How did you know that I have the spirit stone? That's. Hehe. <laughs> Excuse me. I've been uh, talking silly again. It's a bad habit. I'm a genie, the elder. He said that he's been uh, looking for you. The Mogwe elder has? Justin? Perhaps. Ah, if he recognizes us, maybe he'll open the door. Say, Gina, would you take us to meet the Mogwe elder? Would you, please? Of course. That's... Uh, what the Elder, he intended when he sent to me. The Elder's house is a cellar where the Mogwe live. When you meet uh, the Elder, he will uh, surely be surprised. I didn't like that. I did not like <laughs> the noise that came out of my god dang mouth. Oh god, where am I? I don't want to be here. <laughs> And if it was, like, like, here's the thing, right? One thing I will say that, like, I do kind of do when I'm not, you know, recording for you guys when it comes down to the RPG is exploring everything. Because, like, I want to explore everything. I want to talk with everyone. But if I did that, then this game would be surely way too long. Jeez, man. 
Because none of it is important. And if it's not important, I would have to cut it. But I don't want to cut it. No? When people tell you to cut it out. <laughs> I don't think that's what they mean. Oh, it's been a very... It, it's a been a long time, the brave couple. You came to me just like you promised. This is a humble house to meet a people invited to Angelo. Well, please stay a while. Guido, you really did know everything. Did you foresee about Lane too? A merchant. He lives by information. And the three wiser men of Lane. That was very heavy. Thanks to a monster called Gaia, people in the forest were turned to stone. The only way to return those people to normal is to go to Alan. Hey, which reminds me, there's no time for small talk. Please, Guido, take take us to meet the Mogwe Elder. They told us in Lane that the key to Alan is the underground temple of Zold Payton. In order to open the door of the temple, you must be approved by the Mogwe. I really want to go to Alan. I uh, understand, Justin. However, what a thing before that. I want you to answer my question. Why do you want to go to Alan? Oh, I mean, if anything, if we're relatively to... If we're relative to, you know, talk about, like, why we're going, this makes no sense. This makes no sense. This makes all the sense, which ends up making this make sense. So this right here is primarily, like, what it is. But I feel like all of the, like, while this makes no sense, is somewhat practical. Did I use that right? Practical? Practical. Hmm. Practical. Of or concerned with the actual doing or use of something rather than with theory and ideas. Of an idea, plan, or method likely to succeed or be effective in real circumstances. Feasible. Yeah, okay, so I guess I probably use that right? Oh no, you decide. Leave a comment down below. And hey, you know, you like what I'm doing? You like the things I do? Then guess what? You can like and subscribe. If you subscribe and hit the bell, then you'll be able to see more from me. Yo! <laughs> so, if I was like more Justin, I'd say this. I solved the mystery. Why are you on to, to solve the puzzle of uh, the ancient civilization? Shouldn't that be a uh, over and a done? So far, you have always traveled. Is that uh, truly the only thought born inside of you? No, it's just that. Can't uh, you uh, answer? Then, there's no sense in the mating the elder. Why do you want to go and protect the world we live in? What the is it? When I started traveling, I just wanted to try going. And that was it. Now, it's different. I want to go to Alan to protect this world. Protect the world. You are neither a spirit nor an Karen. How could you do with that? Well. Like, hmm. I mean, he do has done a lot of good. So he does have hero material. Maybe I'm just forgetting, like, a conversation where, like, he, he wants to protect everyone. That, that could very well be it. Congratulations, Justin. Mogwe Elder approves of you. You, you uh, are the proper person to go to go to Alan. Huh? The Elder? What? Could it be that the Guido is the Elder? I like you, Justin. You are always looking ahead, way ahead of everyone else. Then let's go to the underground temple of Zil Payden to look for the key to Alan. Guido.
We have entered the temple with uh, this. The barrier of water has been removed. Thank you, Guido. Great, I can see Alan. Well, to the underground temple, everyone. Yeah, I guess, like, in retrospect, the middle one kind of accomplishes both one and two. You save the world, you meet... You, you meet Liette, and you basically, uh, solve the mystery of Angelo. And, uh... Is this our... Is this our final crew? Is... Is this it? <laughs> um, okay. The, the reason I ask is because now everyone is of equal level. So you got Mogwai Shot, Mogwai Bomb, Mogwai Hypo, Mogwai Pick. And if we level up his sword, we get the last one. So I say... Uh, very important. I say we basically uh, give him his jazz. And then let's go here. Uh, we'll stash the warp staff and the hammer. The swallow hat. We have the mana egg, so we can uh, basically give that to. Um, Athena, and then let's go ahead and grab the thing. Oh god, my ears. Because Guido is going to be the one, most likely, plus four plays and plague and para resistance. Wow. To relatively use like a bunch of SP. Now, my question is, right? And is always going to be to Oasis. Unusual, you aren't you the Elder Mowgli? Are you going to buy a price? We are selling things. We are businessmen like just the uh, like you. We avoid a people with a bad name. Oh, this fellow is harsh. But money makes the world go round. If you're not here to buy, go home. Okay. Uh, do you guys relatively want? Would you guys want me to talk to everyone? Like. Even then, like, you know, I relatively wouldn't, I don't think. Look, he doesn't even get anything. Guido just does not want magic. Jeez, okay. Hold on, let me check my phone. Okay, so now Fina has also become the Avatar. Lovely. Now, Fina. Uh, nothing changed. You know, I wonder if, uh, for whatever reason, right? Like, she basically gets, uh,. Abilities if we talk to like certain people Honestly, like I wouldn't relatively put it past that to be perfectly honest Huh So there is always that thought is there anything that we should relatively buy? <coughs> like we got a dagger that's extremely lethal Aims for rare items, which we could put on all three of our boys, which wouldn't be too bad. We could also get Lorenzo, which lowers the defense of enemies. That's actually really big. Honestly, like, Lorenzo might be good for, like, the final boss battle and any of the other combat situations that we basically, uh, would have to go for. So, probably should keep that in mind. Water has disappeared. There's a board with three holes in it. 
If uh, you fit the metal in the middle, the door to the underground, the temple, she will uh, open. We have uh, no idea what lies ahead either. We've been uh, too cautious to go in. Well then, we better prepare ourselves. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, so. That worries me. That worries me a lot. I think, okay, let's just go in. I don't know if it's a good idea. Great, let's go, Jess. But we are going to basically, here, good? This is, what, this place smells like mold. Once you've come this far, you can't go back. All right, Justin. Oh, of course. Great. I don't know if I like this. Let's go, everyone. Like, honestly, this could have been, like, a really, really bad thing to do. I mean, if anything, we get a save point and everything. Wow, this place is bigger than I thought. I never imagined such a great shrine could float in the air. We Mogwe have always lived together with the shrine, even before we came down from the sky. Same as Liete of Elend. Okay, Justin, let's -a go, eh? And the key to Elend has gotta be deep, deep inside. And the ammo. Okay. So if anything. If worse comes to worse, then. So basically, if worse comes to worse, the worst possible outcome being that I can't necessarily kill anything, right? This'll teach you. Then at least I could power level and basically get to a point where it doesn't matter uh, whether or not, like, things get bad. At least, you know, that's a thought. Shockwave! But if anything, these guys seem like small fry. So... A quote unquote small fry. <coughs> so, you know, I don't think I'm terribly afraid of anything like being too difficult. Like, right now, like, the only thing that I relatively should be worried about is if we're ever, like, uh, what's it called? Outnumbered. <clears throat> if we're outnumbered, then yeah, why not? Be worried. No, we do gotta level up fire, unfortunately. Oh my god, that's so small. And these guys are resistant to magic, duly noted. I wonder if uh, the liches are resistant to the magic. I don't think they are. I mean, then again, if they are legitimate liches and not just like some kind of zombie class. What is this? Because, like, a lich, I would assume, would have, like, some kind of, like, resistance. We won, we won. That's your voice? <laughs> we never actually heard Guido's voice before. I just kind of, like, gave him a voice based on how, like, smug he is. So I 
like see like this right here this is a little bit worrisome but we got like giant aoe to relatively take care of it so not so much anything bad what is your fire level, actually? You know? Because, like I said, I should relatively be focusing more on trying to, like, get new skills rather than leveling up something to a point where you can't learn anything, you know? Pizza cake! Pizza cake! Why does he sound like this? Why does he sound like this? Not that there's anything wrong about sounding like this. Okay, so Fina. Her magic is level 2. Okay. So it looks like that there's one more fire thing that she can basically learn, but it's question marked out. So the highest that uh, Justin's fire ever has to get is 25. And the highest his water has to go is 20. 20 for the earth and 23 for wind no, 23 for wind yep that seems about it seems weird that rap just gets it at like level 25 and it's weird that we don't know anything at level 25 I think if we like max out her fire magic Maybe that gives us something. What is the match? Well, your guess is as good as mine at that point. I want to say that max fire is probably 30. But that's just me relatively like... At that point... Kind of, oh, hey, you know, let's... uh Ooh, tries to steal item. He's a thief. As long as that means IP to a minimum. That's good. And restores SP of one friend with a shot. Let's try it. As we uh, burn fight. Aha, there. <laughs> okay. I like it. That was cute. So, if we see fire level up. We'll go from there. We'll just, we're, we're just going to like set the world ablaze. Take that. I think that's what, what's going to go down. I think we're just going to like burn this world. Perhaps fire level up. So that's good. You know, I wonder if the fire damage on like, uh, the sword that Rap has. I wonder if that, like, scales up uh, with, like, m fire magic. Which, I don't think so, but you never know. Let's go ahead and focus on this guy. So Justin can basically, like, practice his fire magic. to see what that fire magic is oh 
I just went to Underground Ruins 4. We're gonna use it on Justin. Just because he needs, like, more speed, and giving him, a, like, an item that kind of, like, ups that is actually, like, really freaking good for him. So, why do you have not? I say that this is probably, like, a very good place to remotely, uh, you know, kind of, like, train and basically gain EXP. Because who knows, you know, what's awaiting for us. Not that I'm going to say that we're having any problem. Like, the only time that we ever had any sort of problem was... <clears throat> was the dragon. And honestly, like, the dragon was... We just had to kind of, like, change up how we kind of, like, went about that fight. So, you know, it's not like anything can be, like... <clears throat> So overpowering that like we're just going to automatically die we're, we're in a relatively decent state of affairs right now so we don't really have to worry So we'll get to 30, if that basically is maximum, then I won't worry about anything else and I'll just start leveling up any of her other magic. Primarily wind would be next. So the warp man is very, very scary. one guy lovely no I want magic don't know what I was thinking there oh I got hit well I mean this is still like a very big thing so at least I can hit two of them Continue focusing on the warp man. <clears throat> because reasons. Okay, so if anything, that was Justin. Him? Okay. Blaze brightly, oh flame. Yeah, we hit everything now. Good. Did he just attack three times? Or did my eyes deceive me? It, my eyes probably deceived me. Let's be honest. Blaze brightly, oh flame. I re—I just really, really want to see. I—I'm very curious at this point. Because, like, not only like. Are we, like, at a point, right, where we're near the end, I feel? But, like, is 30 the max? Do we have to go further with magic? And if so, is that even remotely worth it? Hmm. That's it? That's all that was over here? Kind of 
lame. <laughs> but eh, oh well. Let's go ahead, heal up. And then I don't necessarily... I mean, it's not like we have anywhere else to be, to be perfectly honest. We'll just save here. The idea was basically to have, like, the to save the ruins on slot number two. But honestly, like, I don't see any real reason to relatively do it that way. Just primarily because we can still, we can still level up in here. And if we need to, basically use that to basically buy more time in order for us to basically go fight whatever it is that's going to be down here. Burnout. You, you, you feel? I feel. I'm human. Of course I feel. Unlike these skeleton people, they don't feel. I'm just going to, like, try to, like, steal stuff. Because why not? Aha! We'd always learn power up. Nice! And then we can also, like, uh, level up your fire, too, there, Rap. And that's how you learn something, too. And then Pina. Pina, don't kill them before he has a chance. Oh, poor Rap boy. That's a Rap. <laughs> oh, you can still do it, but... Uh, no, it should be big enough, right? Yeah! Big AOE. Come back with reinforcement. Oh, be quiet, rap. <laughs> money, even though money isn't going to be a very big thing. No, if anything, we don't might just relatively be here for this specific moment. Like... It's very, very possible that, like, <clears throat> he's not. One max MP for levels one through three. Give that to Justin. He needs a little bit more MP, to be perfectly honest. Fina has, like, 43, 44, 43, somewhere along those lines. And Justin's at a measly, like, 20-something, which, you know, needs to be improved on. Definitely. Okay, to ruins too. I don't want to relatively go too far because it is getting kind of like close to where I need to end the recording. <clears throat> but I would very much like to end it with Wait, Fina learning the flame. ultimate magic of fire. Come on, Fina, don't let me down. Do it right now, right here. We'll even defend so that you basically have more turns for this bull crud. Okay, well, everyone except Justin, because he needs to actually practice his fire. And he can't necessarily kill them, so... He killed them! Justin, you made me look like a joke. We'll do it on this one. Take this. Burn, baby, burn, burn them all to hell. Not bad, eh? And look, we also get items. We get a panacea for that, which is the cure all. Any ailment that relatively starts troubling us, we basically have an answer. Lovely. Oh, didn't mean to go this way. We'll go a little more far. A little bit farther. Mm hmm Yes, because I, I do. I would very much... Can I jump off? No? Okay. There's a lot of treasure here. Jesus. That's a, that's a lot of treasure. Can't jump that. Were we able to relatively... Ooh. Well, now we're, now we're down here. Which means we can't get up. Which means we don't have a save point. Oh my god! Well, this is a bit of a situation, huh? See my power. 
I honestly did not think about this, did I? And the answer to that is no. No, it did not. So what is power up? Use all... Ups all ability of one friend by shot. Okay. He's just basically, like, the ultimate support character. That's basically what I'm getting out of this. So, if anything, at the very least, we have that. Okay, time to join into the fray because magic does nothing on this guy. And I'm not entirely sure whether or not. <clears throat> not entirely sure whether or not uh, jazz happens. Like, you're still at like. Le oh, no, you did get to level 30. Okay, we'll just start leveling up like wind. Because we need to get wind to at least like level 19 ish. Well, 20 at the most. But at least, like, at level 19, she gets, like, an electric move. Is what I'm trying to say. When does she level up? I don't know. Have we ever seen... A Mimic yet? Man, I would love to see a Mimic in this game. That'd be kind of cool. I don't like that hole. Okay, well, if anything, I should really, really basically save the rest of this dungeon for a little bit later. That much is for sure. So I'm just gonna go doodly 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 do. So, you know, with that being said, you know, I don't have to be at the save point to relatively say... You know, thank you so very much for watching. I'm honestly hopeful that you all enjoy uh, the recordings of the RPGs. And hey, if you want to see like me do relatively something other than RPGs, let me know. Because relatively on my list are a bunch of RPGs. So, you know. Don't be afraid to tell me, hey, can you do like an RPG every like so often or so? Which I would be happy to relatively oblige. If I was playing Bravely Default, I would be happy to oblige. <laughs> For those of you who get that, I love you. Um, so, yes. I'm not, a, I'm not, you know, opposed to, like, uploading, like, something different than an RPG. I'm honestly not. I'm honestly thinking about, basically, recording Final Fantasy 1 and basically making that an upload series because it's so short. But if I do that, then we would have to find something else to stream. And I don't know how I feel about that. But either way, thank you so very much. Enjoy. See you all in the next recording. Goodbye. Kaka, kaka, bye-bye. Bye-bye, kaka, kaka, bye-bye.